Hey everyone, today I want to show you my experience getting Kenshi to run smoothly on the Steam Deck. We'll check out some display settings that worked well for me in terms of maintaining good performance and quality. We'll also take a look at the button layout and tweaks for the Steam Deck's main controller editor. And lastly, we'll talk about the overall gameplay experience. Hopefully I'll give you a good general idea of what it's like to play Kenshi on the Steam Deck. First up, I want to talk about performance. The default settings seem to work pretty well for Kenshi on Steam Deck. The resolution's default is the Steam Deck native resolution. That will give you the sharpest picture the Steam Deck is able to produce. I changed the texture quality from medium to high. I left the terrain chunk size on small, which is the default, and I believe that gives us the best performance. I ended up playing around a little bit with the shadow settings. I tried the CSM shadows on poor quality, and it just had a detrimental effect on my performance. I was hovering around 30 frames per second to about 40, 44 frames per second. And in turning off the shadows completely, it boosted my performance where I was consistently seeing a locked 60 frames per second. And, you know, every so often as terrain would load in, I would see a performance hit, but only temporarily. And I'd soon be back up into the 40 high 40s to locked 60. I also tried messing around with the reflection settings, and I didn't really see a big enough difference to increase the amount of reflections, so I left it on the default setting, which is just landscape. I also left all the rendering distance sliders on default. Because playing on the Steam Deck, uh, where the screen is fairly small, I didn't think that changing all those sliders from the default value would make that big of a difference. And one last setting I changed for the display was the font size. I believe it starts out at font size 17 or 16. And I bumped that up to size 19. That seemed to be the sweet spot for being able to see all the small fonts on the Steam Deck screen. If I tried any fonts larger than that, it didn't seem like the interface was able to accommodate those font sizes as it would cut off the text. So overall, it was pretty easy to set up Kenshi to run really smoothly on the Steam Deck. Most of the settings were default and the Steam Deck could handle it no problem considering it's already pretty powerful to begin with. All right, next up we have control settings and we're gonna tweak a few buttons. Luckily for us, the default control layout is not terrible. Most of the buttons that are defaulted to their current settings are fine, but I am gonna change a few settings that I thought were really weird and wonky. Page up is L4, I don't want that to be page up. This is really funky. So after some mild confusion on my end, I was able to change the L4 and L5 buttons on the back left grip. I do have some injuries to my left hand, so making the L4 button the middle mouse button function made it really easy to hold that button down. And because I'm always holding that button down to pan the camera to search for enemies as my squad moves through an area, this made the game so much easier to play for me on the Steam Deck, and it was much more comfortable for long play sessions. I also changed the L5 button on the left grip to the Alt button on the keyboard so that I can hold that down and find anything on the ground that I may have missed. It also helps you highlight shops so that you can spot shops if you're unfamiliar with a settlement. And just a couple other miscellaneous items I changed. I switched the push function on the left trackpad to a screenshot function just because I do take a lot of screenshots. I changed the right grip button R4 to the shift functionality so that it's much easier to choose specific groups of characters within a squad. It may be something that I made a mistake on, but I could not find a way to do this with the default controls. So this made choosing individual characters much, much easier, and I feel like it's a requirement to play Kenshi effectively. I'll probably end up customizing the controls a little bit more, but this is a really good start to comfortably play the game on Steam Deck. After getting everything set up the way I liked and getting everything comfortable to control, my experience playing Kenshi on the Steam Deck was mostly positive, but I do have some nitpicking that I want to talk about. Fighting battles with multiple opponents and trying to control multiple allied characters does get a little bit tedious as you are pausing and giving orders with the Steam Deck controller. Uh, it is a much smoother experience, of course, on a PC with a keyboard and mouse. I was able to get between two to four hours of playtime on a full charge 
And I think that's fairly common. I don't expect to get a full day of playtime out of the Steam Deck when playing Kenshi, but I think it is a good thing to keep in mind for all the hardcore players out there who play Kenshi for three, five, even eight hours at a time. Uh, just remember that you're going to need to plug this in before your session is over. One other nitpick that I want to bring up, and it, I believe it does come with the territory with these kind of games on Steam Deck, the screen is pretty small, so most of the time your characters are going to be little tiny dots on the screen. You will have to zoom in quite a bit just to get a little bit of detail so you can see what's going on. And lastly, I'll say that if you are brand new to Kenshi and you've never played the game before, I don't think I can recommend a first experience playing the game on the Steam Deck. If you have the option available to play it on a laptop or desktop PC with a keyboard and mouse. So with a fair amount of critical feedback for the game running on Steam Deck, I don't want to give the overall impression that it's a bad experience. Overall, I would say the experience is quite the opposite. I had a lot of fun playing Kenshi on the Steam Deck, and part of the reason why I made this video is because I want to share this experience with you, the fans of Kenshi, who will absolutely love being able to take Kenshi anywhere you want and play anytime you like. There are no other games like Kenshi, and I hope this video helps you enjoy it as much or more than I have on the Steam Deck. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking an interest in this small channel. Take care of yourself and take care of each other. I'll see you in the next video.